One of the things I want to bring to our notice about the warfare of the mind, number one, is that we cast out devils, and when you cast out devils, you expel demons through the agency of our authority in Christ Jesus. And when you expel demons, demons live quickly, especially if your authority is valid, if your authority is authentic. Demons live what? Have you seen us cast out devils here before? The demons recognize our authority and they begin to tremble instantly and we begin to issue commands. It's a, it's a good place to be, uh, issuing commands to, to demons. It's, it's, it's a wonderful place. So we cast out devils using the instrumentality of authority and such expelling of devils are instant. But we cast down strongholds. Strongholds are of the mind. We cast out devils. That is instant. We cast down strongholds of the mind. The difference between casting out and casting down. Are you, are you here? Now that's where I got casting down from. I got it from uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 5. Casting down imaginations and every high being that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. Casting what? Down. You see, the thing about these arguments and reasonings that the devil brings our way is that they seem to exalt themselves over and above the authority and the place of the word of God in our life. So they are always trying to grow height. And the moment you consider the reasoning from the kingdom of darkness to be more valid than the word of God, you become trapped in the manipulation that the devil has in mind. So the Bible says that there is a deliberate activity that we must switch into to, to depose that authority, to reduce that authority to what it really is, which is nothing and nonsense through a process called casting down whereas casting out devils is instantaneous casting down strongholds takes a process of time that means it is something you continue doing until you have reduced the height of that argument and it no longer stands in the way of your conviction if you if you allow it lie if you sleep over it, you will become a victim. And you will tell stories like, like, okay, like uh, there's a preacher, he said he had the vision, an encounter in 1980. And he saw in the city of Ayangba, an auditorium that was 30,000 seater. Hallelujah. And he was the pastor of that ministry that uh, had an auditorium that was what? 30,000 seater. And uh, he wrote the prophecy in a journal. A very robust journal that was well secure and if anywhere there was a prayer meeting he would go and read it out that oh hear ye Israel in your city an auditorium will be built and it's going to be 30,000 seated that is when he got the vision he went to everywhere people prayed and he shared the mind of God then Satan now reminded him of his poverty have you ever hallelujah there was one day that i wanted to deal with me those days i put two of my surviving trousers on the line <laughs> and when i came back to the line it was the good trouser was the one they stole the one they left had a hole at a strange place and then wind now blew it as the wind blew the trouser like this satan spoke i said you see <laughs> what is left this is what is left of you <laughs> may you receive grace to cast, <laughs> to cast down Satan. oh jesus jesus christ jesus when the wind blew the trouser like this he, he, he spoke the sight was strange and he said oh this is Satan knows the moment to puncture your faith. 
So well, we are going to go into the practicalities of casting down. So that's what we do. We cast down. And it is something that you must keep on doing. If, if something happened to you, you were unfortunate and you got raped. And then when you were um, a young lady coming up, you were 15 years old, you got raped. Satan will come and say, oh my. He will want to make you feel incapable. Want to make you feel rejected. Want to make you feel... So you see, he's building a case. And just like arguments are in the court of law, there is a tendency that you can believe him, that you are good for him. Because he has defeated you in your soul. That which he has programmed into your life will begin to come to pass. But the Bible says, let God be true. And let every man be what? Amen. So we need to cast it down. If we don't cast it down, it's so bogus, it's so wide, it's so tall, that it will not form the edifice that drives your philosophy. I want to say again, casting down strongholds is not as instantaneous as casting out devil. 